right, just made it to the island camp. Haven't been here in, I think, four months. Uh, good to see some things don't change. But, uh, yeah, just got here, worked up a sweat coming in. It's like 30, I think 38, 39 when I left the car. That's probably about an hour ago, but I worked up a good sweat. So I've got an extra fleece in here. I'm going to take my base layer off. I just wore the base layer and the, the jacket over it. So I'm going to strip this off and get it hung up and get my uh, heavier fleece out and get it get dried off and get it on. I don't know if I showed this pouch <clears throat> in one of my other videos, but uh, I've got an H2O pouch made by Tough Possum, and I keep my water filter in. It's really, really good, strong mesh pouch. Uh, <clears throat> allows your uh, filter to dry without having to take it out and mess with it when you get home. You just hang it on the outside of the pack. But anyway, so he makes these sleeves for canteens. So, you know, canteen kits can get pretty, pretty filthy, so just slide them in here. And uh, when you stick it in your pack, you don't have to worry about it getting, you know, getting all nasty. So that's one thing that I've got. I actually had it for several months now. And then another thing I bought was um, I bought a canteen kit from... Um, What's it called? Boundless Voyage. And uh, it's a uh, it's a canteen cup that comes with a bale. It's pretty much like the uh, heavy cover. But I bought it just because I want to try out this windscreen. Um, I've tried it out at home a couple of times, and uh, it works pretty good. Uh, it doesn't work quite like I thought it was going to, but, you know, I'm still experimenting with it with uh, different fuels and everything. But I also got a, uh, a Boundless Voyage titanium um, stove that goes in here. But uh, that's actually in the next piece of equipment I got. And uh, I need to get that out of the pack so I can get it and get this set up. <clears throat> All right, so... Um, this was uh, a Christmas present to me from me. Uh, this is the new heavy cover titanium mess kit. And it's, you know, obviously anybody that knows much about mess kits, you can tell it's based off the old German mess kit. Um, didn't come with this, I put this on it. The German ones came with a leather strap on it. And uh, the German ones didn't have the extra top. And I keep it up here. And everything's fastened down good. You can see I'm twisting. It's going nowhere. But uh, really, really been wanting to get out and try this thing. That's the extra lid it comes with. Inside, I've just got uh, I've got my heavy cover spork, uh, just a bandana, fold a cup, some meths, and that little Boundless Voyage titanium stove. But uh, yeah, so I brought I brought some good food with me. Dad brought uh, I brought some eggs, some baked beans, you know, just a few things. And some bread. I'll make some fried bread. And I got a little frying pan with me. Um, so let's get this going. I think instead of uh, using the Keith over this, I'm gonna try this over and see how long it takes it to boil. I 
think today I might try to make me a little shelf that I can hide out here. And uh, be nice to have something right here to put all this kit on. Because to be honest with you, you know, uh, I love cooking and I love cooking outdoors. And I love gear. Uh, I've said it in one of my other videos. I love gear almost as much as I love getting out. Um, I don't know what it is about it. It just, I don't know. I just really, really like it. I don't know. It's just something about it. Just a, a nifty little kit, you know. Maybe it's just, you know, like what some women say, just boys and their toys. So what, what I've been experimenting with is trying to get this flame as close to the top as possible. And uh, that lifts it up pretty high. It's probably about an inch below this now. Um, you know, normally, you know, I put that on there and uh, put that on there. And I've got a little windscreen that would go right around this and work just as fine. But I, uh, I love a Swedish mess kit. I've got one that I've never even used. And I need to actually need to bring it out and use it. But that's what I like about this. And I was hoping that this was going to sit on this. Uh, but I didn't realize how big these were, you know, until I got it in. Uh, would be neat if somebody made one to go on there. So it would be just like a Swedish mess kit or like a Swedish German clone. But for now, this has to go under here. I'll tell you something else I've learned. These titanium stoves, they're nice, they're lightweight. Um, I said in a video a while back that you can't beat an original Trangia, and I still believe that to be true for the majority of the year. Um, I'm just trying this out because I got it, but I'll tell you something I've learned. They suck in the winter. Uh, it's titanium. Titanium, you know, it, it, it expels heat quick. So it takes this a while to prime and to warm up. So there's a lot of fuel, you know, wasted where the, the, little, the little brass transit would prime quicker. But anyway, if, if, if that matters to any of you. Now I haven't tried this on here. And that's actually not bad. Yeah. So let's give that a go. I guess we can go ahead and get this priming. We'll just set this down here for now. I'm not worried about the stuff spilling. I want it to catch on fire and heat this whole thing up real quick. Yeah, these things are really finicky. The titanium is. There we go. Yeah. I mean, you can't even see the flame.
So now I know this is probably gonna take around five minutes to boil just because it's so cold out here. And like I said, the titanium cools pretty quick. And it's gonna take it a good minute before it, you know, flumes really good. All right, bring it back. So instead of a shelf, I decided to just make me a, you know, a hanging stick. So it came to a boil right before it burned out. So I think I pretty much got the uh, measurements down. One thing I do like about that little titanium stove, it comes with uh, measuring lines inside. That literally just burned out. I was turning the camera on because it was boiling. Walked back over here and it was out. And now everything's cooled down except, yeah, that's still hot to touch. That cooled down very quick. <clears throat> yeah, so I love making little hanging trees. I always do it when I can. I don't know why I never thought to just do it here. See so guys, when you're going to a, uh, you know, a day camp, so be honest, is the majority of the equipment you bring, is it uh, cooking gear? Mine is usually uh, clothes, clothing and cooking gear because I hate to be cold. I can't stand to be cold. I've got uh, scoliosis and uh, a touch of arthritis in my back and... Uh, so yeah, these cold, damp days like today, man, they really zap you. But it's not too bad today. I came here instead of the other place. Well, like I said, one, I wanted to check it out. And two, there's plenty of places to get in the sun over here and over that, uh, the other little camp. There's uh, It's mostly just shaded. I do like that other spot because, I don't know, it's different. I've, I've been coming here for years and years. And uh, but my cell phone actually gets that over there, but right here where it's sitting right now, uh, it just dinged, and there was a text from my wife, and I cannot believe it came through because my phone never gets out out here. So, yeah, really, uh, really digging the new gear. 
All right, so when I get ready to make my meal, I'm probably going to build a fire and uh, make it over it because, honestly, I didn't bring enough mitts, I don't think. Um, I usually have my butterfly stove with me and some uh, uh, little hex mine blocks, so I don't know, we'll see. It's just, uh, it's going to be fried eggs, fried bread, and some uh, Heinz baked beans, and then I brought a few, you know, snacks, whatever. But, all right, so let's find, stiff this coffee and find something to do. Cheers. <clears throat> oh, I think that temperature's dropping. All right, so this is that H2O pouch that I was telling you about, made by a uh, tough possum. Um, I love it because it's just, uh, you know, when I get home, I don't feel like messing with my gear. I want to just put it away and be done with it. Uh, maybe besides stropping my knife or sharpening my axe a little bit, but other than that, I don't want to fool with it. Uh, so what I like about this is, you know, if you pack these away in your pack, you know, and it's sealed up pretty good, it can build up mold in it. So with this, I'm just, you know, I can just shake it out, throw it in here, and anything else <clears throat> that I want to dry, you know, that I want air to get to, like my, like stuff like this. Um, and then just hang it on the back of the pack. And then before I leave to come back, you know, I just uh, put it inside the pack and I'm good to go again. But right now, I need to get some more water because I brought something out, else out today I want to experiment with. Um, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a cornbread mix that I found. You just add water to it. So I want to see if I can make some fried Johnny Cakes uh, with my little frying pan. And I just thought of something because this doesn't burn that hot, um, or at least not today, it's not. Um, that should be perfect. It shouldn't. Well, I guess if I was going to bake it, you know, that'd be all right. But I'm going to fry it so it really doesn't matter if it gets hot or not. Uh, actually, I want it to. So I can fry it quick. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. Let's get some water. I've got plenty right now to make that. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some and uh, hang it up. That way I don't have to do it later on. calling for uh, said there was a chance of mixed uh, precipitation today um, there was about 40 percent I think looks like it might have gone up a little bit but anyway uh, I usually try to have some type of shelter with me and uh, that's that little stash I had in a couple other videos so I'm gonna go over next to the creek in an area that I like to sit during the summer 
and uh, set this up. I gotta cut some steaks first because I didn't bring mine. This because I gotta clear the area out just a little bit. I'm gonna gotta set up. Look, sun came out, but I'll take it. I really don't feel like sitting in the rain. I'll leave it up though, just in case. Here's what I got. Um, got some butter, some honey, um, a little frying pan, measuring slash coffee cup, and some cornbread mix. And what I like about this is just add water. And it's just three-fourths cup of water. So I'm going to pour it in the Ziploc, uh, mix it up. And then see if I can form like a little Johnny cake. Um, we'll see. Uh, cornbread batter is usually pretty runny. But uh, let's see what we can do with it. So this is some good Amish butter that uh, my mother-in-law got me from uh, North Georgia. There's some uh, Amish that uh, live up there and they make their own products and stuff. And Yeah, that looks done. Not the uh, not the prettiest I've ever made, but let's brown it just a little bit more. Oh man, that's good. Another thing I don't like about this titanium, titanium, titanium. Um, alcohol stove is there's no way to snuff it out yeah there's still plenty of fuel in there that's kind of a waste hmm I wonder no there's no way they just have to burn out. Yeah, that's really cold, my honey. I need more to come out. But there it goes. I don't know if you can hear my stomach growling, but it's going at it. Okay, so that stuff is definitely a winner. It's five servings. Uh, more realistically, probably be perfect for two men.
yeah it's really crystallized a little bit that's not because of the weather though it's just honey does that sometimes um, I don't know how many of you know this but if your honey ever does crystallize or harden um, take the lid off and put it in a dish mine's in mason jars uh, and fill a dish up I mean uh, like a saucepan up with water to about this high and boil it and you'll see that honey start churning feel like Pooh Bear. Alright, I'm going to eat this and uh, bring you back. So that's that's definitely a success. I don't want that last bite to be really sweet, so this is what I was talking about, putting it in warm water. And that just went out. There we go. And then uh, you can do that over and over and over with honey that crystallizes or hardens. Uh, doesn't take long. And like I said, you can do it as many times as it takes because honey never goes bad. You know, they actually found honey in the pyramids. And, uh, you know, they boiled it like that and tried it. And it was fine. So how many thousand years was that? Oh, man. It's time to cook. Alright, so here's the plan. I'm going to fry the bread in the skillet. Uh, heat the beans. They'll stay hot. And I'm going to pour them on the toast and have beans on toast. And then fry my eggs last. And uh, see how that goes. Alright, so i got a lot of heat coming out here. It'll actually burn your hand keeping my beans warm and I put my plate on top of here kind of hold the heat in yeah, those are still good hot I'll give them just a quick warm up when it's time all right now the big question let's see if I can Flip it without losing it. Got to hurry, I'm just about out of fuel. There we go. Beans on toast. A couple of fried eggs. Yeah, I think I would have preferred it if it didn't have these three holes on each side. And I don't know, that's supposed to be so you can like build a fire inside of it, you know, with twigs and stuff to act as a twig stove, but I haven't tried that yet. I might do all right. replenish my matches. Service too smooth. Need something a little rougher like that.
So I've got a French press that I've had forever. And uh, I think I'll bring it out. And it's it's easy. It's made out of a Snow Peak 700, but I didn't buy their French press. I made my own. So let me set this right. Be the ticket. All right, I'll bring you back when it boils. All right, so <laughs> it's literally just been a few minutes. I I love Espit little Espit tabs. There, you know, I've tried all the cheap ones, the Coglins and all that, and you just you can't beat the original. They stink. God, they stink. But man, look how much tablet there is left in there. That's enough for another brew, easy. So, have I accomplished anything today? Made some steaks for my tarp because I forgot mine. Uh, tried out some new gear. Had one fine lunch. That was delicious. What else? I don't know. Who cares? You know, I'm enjoying my day. You don't have to make something every time you come out. You know, do what you like. I see so many people criticize others they say oh you're carrying too much gear you're not really doing anything i'm doing what i like and you know if you're doing what you like you know forget everybody else's opinion it's just their opinion it doesn't matter if you enjoy just hiking out in the woods and cooking like i do do it you don't have to have an agenda you know but anyway i'm going to enjoy this and see what else i can get into Cheers. I still might build a fire though. I really, really, really would like to burn that in. Get some get some color on it. We'll see. Alright, so I couldn't stand it. I had to burn it in. That didn't take long at all. So watching that boil just give me an idea. That's still got butter stuck in it. Do the spatula vibrator.
go. All right, guys, the uh, video I was doing last week, the uh, it was cold, I mean really cold, <clears throat> and my camera just died. Uh, I say camera, I use my phone, but um, the cold really zaps those batteries. But anyway, um, it's been one week uh, since I made that, and uh, as you can see, uh, the kit burned in really good. Um, changed a few things and uh thought i'd just show you today what i you know what i put in here i really like having a strap on here So what I've done is uh, I got my photo cup in there, and then that finally dried out, and I was able to put my wash kit in there. Um, keep my, uh, you know, spork in there, and I replaced the silver bottle. I ordered me a regular Trangia, the smaller bottle. It won't sit straight up with the lid on, but it leans, and as long as things are kind of low profile, it will shut all the way. And this allows me to carry more fuel and not waste it when I spill it like you saw when I was cooking last week in the video. And I'm still, you know, trying out the little uh, Boundless Voyage titanium stove. And I've got it in there with the little, the little stand. But yeah, you know, it, uh, it did great. I'm not using it today. I was going to do eggs and beans again, but I brought a little sandwich out. So I'm actually going to use this with the windscreen and uh, grill uh, the sandwich I brought. It's just a little turkey and cheese. I'm going to do like a turkey and cheese melt or see what I can do with it. But anyway, I'll. Uh, I'll bring you back once I get that going good. Yeah, it's just hard to beat these little transia bottles. I mean, they, they won't leak for anything. I've had my red one for a long time. Yeah, last weekend, man, like I said, it was it was pretty dang cold. That uh, it really did do a number on my, my phone. I guess I'll have to break down and buy me a real camera or a GoPro or something. Don't really want to because I don't like to carry a whole lot of stuff with me when I come out.
or at least you know a lot of electronics and stuff Normally in my mess kits I do keep a stainless steel knife, so I probably might just devote this little open nail gardener knife to that one. Tell you what, that is really good. It's got this perfect crunch. Yeah, so it's just uh, turkey and cheese. Wish I had some mayo to go on with that. But listen to this crunch. Yeah. Well, I'll bring you back so you don't have to listen to me smack. All right, now <clears throat> I want to try something different. I'm going to uh, build a little twig fire under here um, I watched one guy had the same kit and he said he didn't like this because he couldn't he said it, he couldn't maintain a fire under it to boil his water and everything but honestly to me it looked like he had wet wood um, we'll see though um, you know you can use a uh, little fuel from your trangia just to get it going good um, or you could use a piece of fat wood. Um, you could lay the fat wood on top of the twigs and let it burn down, which works in you know certain stoves. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do, I've got a little bit of an espit tab left over right there, so I might start with that because you know even if I'm relying on fire, I've always got some type of fuel with me, whether it be an espit tab or you know some tr uh, fuel in my trangia bottle or fatwood fatwood is fuel um, it's not just sticks so let's uh let's give that a go and so i'm going to measure out exactly one cup of water in my little cup here and then put it in my um, canteen cup and see if we can get a cup of water boiling. All right, so let's give this a go. Like I said, I think the guy, he did a video on the Boundless Voyage um, canteen kit, which is a cup, a lid, and this, the titanium windscreen. And it's all titanium. It's a really, really nice little kit. I really like it. Um, also, like I said, I think the guy had wet wood, and I think the wood he had was too big. And people, if you're just boiling water, I've seen people, they, they make the mistake of trying to build these big freaking fires, you know, and you don't need it. A little twig fire burns really hot, and I mean, really it's, it's all you need. You don't need something huge, especially just for a cup of water. But I'm going to film this whole thing, and we'll watch it in real time, and see how it goes. And I'm just going to do a small little platform here. Now, before anybody tells me I'm cheating by using the ESPIT tab, I'm not. Because, like I said, I always 
always have some type of fuel with me. Um, I just I don't go out in the woods without without something like that. Um, it might be a big hunk of uh, fat wood that I'm carrying in my pack. You know, it might be a little kit with SB tabs in it. And what I do when they get about that small, I just throw them in here and then I save them, you know, for starting fires. Uh, if I had to, I could do small feather sticks and get, get it going also. But, um, we'll see, you know. And don't get me wrong, I'm not bad-mouthing the guy at all. Uh, I really enjoyed his video. Um, so, if you happen to watch this, don't think that I'm bad-mouthing you because I'm not. I don't bad-mouth anybody. People just have, they have ways of doing, people have different ways of doing things. Tell you something else I learned a long time ago. When you're collecting kindling, if it doesn't make this sound, if it doesn't snap, throw it away. Because it's either green or it's a little damp. And you know, I'm not saying this is going to work. The guy could be absolutely 100% right. Um, I think he said the issue was he wasn't getting enough, enough oxygen in there. But what I'm thinking is if, you know, when oxygen enters a fire, it has to have a way to escape. If you're covering this up completely, that might be what's doing it. There's three holes here and three holes on the other side. So we'll see. Uh, if that don't do it, then I'll turn the cup, you know, kind of maybe like that to allow the flames and the oxygen to escape. What, uh, what you, he could have been doing was uh, actually just something as simple as smothering the fire. And we'll find out if that's what was going on. There's a hole back here big enough to feed the fire. Or, like I said, if you turn the cup sideways, you could probably just drop twigs in here. But we'll get it figured out. There is exactly eight ounces of water in here. Enough for uh, a cup of coffee. So let's see what we can do. Actually got warm enough today. Stupid bugs came out. I mean, it's uh, it's chilly, but I guess it's not too cold for them because they've been pestering the crap out of me for a while. Maybe this will run them out.
Yeah, that's starting to catch on pretty good. I think it's getting plenty of oxygen in there. Like I said, he either had, I, I think the, the gentleman either had wet wood or he was just uh, smothering the fire with the canteen cup because it does sit flush on there. So let's, I'm going to set it down like he had it and see what's happening here. I got flames coming out the back pretty dang good. So let's take it off. And I'm going to turn it this way. Now I'm going to try to feed some in the back here. See, I can look in here. I piled everything in the center, so I'm burning on this side and this side. So see, I'm actually smothering the fire, not with the canteen, but with the twigs. But now I start to catch on because I opened it up and let that air flow through. there. Now, I got this water out of the creek, so if I tell you it's boiling, rest assured it's boiling. So it's just about there.
to boil. So I don't know how long that took, but yeah, that's all. That's all that was wrong. Uh, Paul, my buddy, uh, if you're watching this, just, uh, you know, me and a buddy of mine named Paul, we uh, talked back and forth on private chat, and we actually ordered these together on the same day. He got his before mine. Before I did, I was super jealous. Uh, but yeah, dude, this uh, that video, like I said, and, and I'm repeating myself, so I'll shut up. But yeah, the guy just he either had wet wood or he just smothered the fire because you can see getting a great flame out of there. I'm going to rest this on there. Uh, yeah, see with this, it's coming out the back. So yeah, I think as long as you do something like that, you're good. Now, since I've got this water boiled, there is absolutely no reason not to do that. Yeah, I'm getting some good heat off of that. So I'll turn that off and uh, bring you around to this side and let you see what it looks like over here. Yeah, so actually has a nice hot bed of coals under there. But if you use it in conjunction with the heavy cover instead of the uh, one that comes with it, you know, it's a uh, it's a good fit. Those coals are doing their job because there's still a little water in there. All right. All right, I'm all packed up and ready to go. I don't know what kind of video this is going to be. Probably not much of one. But anyway, I'll put it up anyway. And uh, take care. See you later.